Okay, good. I thought I was going to wake up in a hospital bed. Wait a minute. How do they know our name is Frisk? So, there's a very, very big playable epilogue. Right. You can talk to just about every character in the game, and you can walk all the way back to the very, very first room, and talk to people all the way along the way. Right. I will be doing that separately, because I've got a save file on my laptop that's actually about this point. Okay. The only thing I haven't got is talking to these people. So, let's do that right now. How do they know our name is Frisk? So, yeah, the thing about the naming at the beginning, it says, what would you like to name the fallen child? Uh, you're, you're naming a different fallen child. Okay. And everyone's kind of mistaking you for them. Yeah, people have been calling us human all game. It's been bothering me. Okay, cool. I guess. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, there's like. Why go back to the surface? That's all I would miss. Here we have lava. Oh, this guy. Damn it, that's cool. <laughs> oh, let's just reload the save file. <laughs> nope. Best ending ever. That's the way. Live your life! What if you name the fallen child Frisk? You get heart mode. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, my friend. Welcome. Those anime eyes. is a form of animation primarily originating from Japan, 
It varies quite a bit from Western animation in that it tends to tackle more adult themes and has a reputation for the characters being sexualized, but at the same time tells much better stories because of the issues it's willing to tackle. More relatable stories, I argue. There are some cracking cartoons, but they're not actually... It's like a cartoon, but with swords. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Golly, that sounds neato. Wow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, no, no. That was all from our, all from Undyne's conversation. I don't know. I've known them like thirty minutes. Oh, I'd ship it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. Yes, you would. <laughs> yep. Tori and Gory. Uh it, it, you should have just stopped before Tori and Gory. Yeah. Uh yeah, a lot of people tend to ship Toriel and Sans together. They make all, jokes, I guess. All the puns. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Like if Big Bigfoot just came up to you and said sorry for trying to eat your face. Yeah, and I'm seven, so screw you guys. <laughs> I guilt tripped your reanimated son into killing himself again. How do you like me now? Oh well. I know there's more dialogue if you talk to them, but uh. I'll be getting to that in the bonus video. For now. Yeah, oh. Oh, of course, we can go to the surface. Okay, let's get this over with. It's just flowery, like, You thought you were going somewhere? Why'd you think I gave you a huge epilogue? <laughs> so you'd play with me forever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, look, he is the very cool online guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. You went the wrong... Okay, <laughs> never mind. in the doghouse.
Yes. Wow. Whoa, okay. Yeah. It's been a very long time, and they probably just had no idea. Maybe. The end. Oh. Ah. It's worth watching these credits. They're oh, they're just amazing. <laughs> Professional frog. <laughs> Why are some yellow and others white? I'm kind of curious about this. I think it's the yellow ones are the ones you actually spared, or got to spare. If you ran away or didn't encounter it, I think it turns up in white. Okay. He's living his dream! Oh, good god. <laughs> Is that a trike? Yes. <laughs> lot of characters to go through, so yeah. what's your overall opinion of the game? Um, it's pretty awesome. I like the kind of games that give you like different things. And it's got decent lore to it. <sighs> There's a lot we haven't really covered. It's, yeah. I've been receiving a lot of messages about generally the lore of this game and what people think of it and their interpretations. It's kind of awkward because I can't say a lot of it, or I haven't been able to say a lot of it because I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> Look, Onion Zan! Oh god, that's what that is! I... <laughs> it's terrifying. Undyne. Sly dog. <laughs> Take that wall! <laughs> is she throwing money at them? Aaron by Temi reluctantly. No, you see, we definitely fought Aaron. Mm. Fourteen pack Murhorse. I think Temi is probably my favourite of the bunch. <laughs> Shiron. Ah, that was fun. Everyone's favourite character. Uh... Yes, Napster Bluke. <laughs> yes. No, put the legs away. It's weird when you have legs. I preferred it when you look like that weird robot in the Wallace and Gromit film. <laughs> All these memories. Ah, <laughs> oh, Muffet. Oh, that was a good monster. You just have to, like, show a receipt and then you win. There's kind of a cool thing where I think some of the monsters were designed by people who paid enough on the Kickstarter. Yeah. So you'll see their names somewhere in the credits. We managed to miss these two because I just kind of rushed through the core area. <laughs> night night. Night night. No, we didn't. <laughs> a retail shop. Oh yeah. It's the Amalgamati! Oh, wow. Is he? That's Papyrus' head. Why would you go to all that trouble? I think at one point Papyrus says, one day the king will carve, like, he'll make a hedge in the shape of my face. Wow. <laughs> Toriel looked a bit old in that one. Ah, and there's the mountain where this all began. You know, I was always kind of wondering about the barrier, if it's only at one place. Couldn't you just build a big staircase? <laughs> I guess. I'm more worried about the fact that that hill looks very normal, but does have quite a bit of lava inside of it. Um... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How many times am I going to subvert this shit?
Um, see if you can find my name, Sam. But don't say when you actually see it. Oh, right, yeah. Ah! Wow. You have infinite health. <laughs> and in their own small way, we like to think that our backers would love to try and kill you in the making of this oh, game. This is the difficult bit. You gotta go... Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, you gotta That's, get the timing yeah. just right. You're too slow. Can't remember how you do that bit. Ah, I'm hurting my brain. I... <laughs> ah. I can't read! But yeah, if you get past this bit, you unlock the special door. Oh, I see, okay. It's got to touch no names whatsoever. Damn it, Gerard. It's kind of harsh, seeing as you can only... Oh man, I can't read any of this. <laughs> you probably missed your name. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, come on, the Be list. part of the game. Kill everyone. Hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like gold rings start coming out. We <laughs> yes. hit the wall. Oh well, back to these. Pretty sweet soundtrack. got the Undertale soundtrack and it's over 140 tracks if I remember right. Yeah. Good background music. Something. Until it suddenly hits you with battle music and you're whoa! Here's the list. Oh right. <laughs> oh, is he... oh wow. <laughs> Hit as many as possible. Yeah. That is a very solid game. Mm-hmm. Got one little thing to take care of, though. Of course we do. Ah. Oh. It's already hell. It's 3 a.m. She's the stealthy pie deliverer. She's just going to walk backwards and forth from over there. Ants everywhere. Cool. <laughs> so that was Undertale. The pacifist run. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got something interesting to show you just before we finish. Okay. So it just stays on that screen for uh -huh. a while. But if we reload the game... And... Sync. Oh, hey, you're back. Is it you? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> oh. That was sort of right.
well, well. What kind of person could push this button? We're not doing it right now. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>